ready. Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. So we gotta talk about this funny Marco situation. Everybody has been hitting me up about this. So let me say this. I met funny Marco in LA. Like, during, like, BET weekend, I don't know, like, two, three years ago, we were all out in L.A. And he was cool. Um, I didn't really know what he did. He told me he was a comedian. He's like, what do you do? I'm like, I don't know. I just sit on YouTube. I, I just, I'm just a YouTuber, you know? But um, he was really, really cool. And then I noticed he was, like, going more and more viral. He's not doing as many pranks. He's been doing, like, these um, interviews where he just stares at people and he has, like, this deadpan expression. Um, I don't really watch the interviews like that unless they go viral for something. But then I noticed the white girl, and y'all can put her name in the chat because I don't know her name. The white girl just basically stole his whole flow. Like now the white girl, the one who was interviewing Drake, and she recently like interviewed Offset, and she just stares at people too. Who's the white girl? Bobby. Is that her name, Bobby? Okay, Bobby. Yes. So she basically stole Funny Marco's like whole swag, right? And so, which is crazy because it's like, when we do something, it's like, okay, all right, that's cute. But then you put a white face on it. You know what I'm saying? Cute little white girl. Now it's viral. She's interviewing Drake. She's interviewing all these top A-list celebrities. And I'm like, but you literally stole his whole swag. But okay, sis. Um, so now he's, what's her name? Oh, Bobby Altoff. Okay. So now he's going viral because he tried to do the same thing with G Herbo in Southside. And they basically, like, they treated him really, really bad during this interview. So, like, everybody's been feeling bad for Funny Marco, and they got real disrespectful. So we're going to watch a few different clips, because there's, like, a few different clips. And T.I. also addressed the situation as well. So let me find, I have, like, so many screens up. Okay. So we're going to watch these clips here. Give me just a second to pull this up. All right, so we're gonna start with this first one. Oh wait, skin uh, care. I'm not. I'll get, I'll get that to care. Me and Charlamagne. Uh, let me see if it if I can blow it oh, up. Wait, skin uh, care. I'm not. I'll get, I'll get that to care. Me and Charlamagne. Uh, you who? Charlamagne. Yeah, both of y'all ugly as fuck. Y'all gotta do that together. Yeah, he ugly as fuck. Yeah, yeah and look, you need that though, cause oh wait, skin uh, care. I'm not. I'll get, I'll get that to care. Me and Charlamagne. So they're basically so making fun of his skin. Because I guess he got pock marks or whatever. Like, you know, like acne scars. You know, everybody don't have good skin. That's not right. So they're making fun of his, his skin. I'm drunk right now. I'm fucked up. We've been back there forever. Wait, no, you. I'm fucked up right yeah, now. Yeah, give me some more liquor, bro. Like, you really yeah, want liquor, I'll, I'll walk, walk off right now. Like, if I don't have fun in the next 20 minutes, I'll leave. I guess, I guess, I guess, I guess. Uh, yeah, I'll get some liquor, man. This shit's boring. Yeah. Give me a cup, too, please. Thank you, bro. Thank you, bro. Yes, it's boring ass show. So, I don't give a fuck about you. Yet. I'm drunk right now. I'm fucked up. We've been back there. Forever. All right, next. Man, you so fucking ugly. You have to treat that woman. <laughs> hey, no, yo, son would have probably thought like it was his cousin, but he if knows so. his family. Yeah. He's stupid. You know his family. You know he's not. You know what I'm saying? He looking like. Did you kidnap? Then you brought him some shoes, like my what son. The fucking shoes, nigga. I bought this nigga a real bust out chain nigga before he was born. Nigga, yeah. What the fuck? Then what, you what, 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 what you be doing? Jordan three Jordan. It's baby, you so fucking ugly. You have to treat that woman. All right. Huh? Yeah. You need me? Yeah. I technically do. Yeah. But I don't. Hold this on, sir. I got you, sir. Fuck it. Move it. You need both of us. Yeah. Oh, well, oh, this is like. I'm sorry. I'm gonna suit. Nigga, that shit nappy already, bro. So you just keep that. I need y'all to know, like, look. No, no, no. Come on. Now we good. I really respect him. This is my brother. There's no disrespect. But it's like, he's so fucking. He's drunk. Yeah, he's drunk. Yeah, it's cool. Nah, I never. I'll take it. No, no, you do it. Yeah, just Okay. All right, next. Okay. So those were just some of the clips. Now, there's some. There's another clip where they broke his watch. Um. Let me find that here. It's like, it's, it's not funny because I'm like, he has a lot of patience because I'd have been ready to fight. 
let me see. I'm trying to find the clip where they broke his watch. Okay, where's where he's talking about? Let me share this real quick. Let me share this tab. So on here, somebody was saying, I feel like the episode was cool. They was just going with your vibe. Marco says, nah, they broke my 30K watch. Calling me a bitch. I don't talk to people like that. But this post is not for people like you that don't really watch me. So I understand. I get fans. They post them too. I'm trying to see if they have the... Trying to see if I can find the clip where they break his watch. Because it was on here. Is this it? Okay, here it is. It's on this part. Okay, let me share this tab. Okay, so this is where they break his watch. This is insane. I'm giving you more respect than you deserve. No face. Hey, hey, shut the fuck up, dude. All right, let's get it. I'm giving you more respect than you deserve. So it's like, I'm coming. Damn. Oh, that's a piece of shit. I'm going to calculate that. I'm giving you more respect than you deserve. No face. So y'all just seen they throw his watch. Shut the fuck up, dude. All right, let's get it. I'm giving you more respect than you deserve. So it's like, I'm coming. Damn. Oh, All right. So now we're going to go ahead and listen to what T.I. No, actually, before we do the T.I. clip, let me show y'all what Southside had to say. Because then people started dragging Southside. And for y'all who don't know, Southside is um is Carisha's baby daddy, Young Miami. So that's who Southside is. That's Young Miami's baby's father. Her daughter is, they share a daughter together. So let me find this clip of Southside, like, going off and about the whole situation. I don't gotta be nobody friend. I'm rich, young, successful. I do music. I make beats. I'm not a rapper. I don't gotta mingle with you. I don't gotta do fucking interviews. I don't gotta do none of that shit. Paru, bro. Like, so for a nigga to get on there and say he's scared because they say he getting and all that other shit is like, you a hoe. You ain't have to put it out, hoe ass. Like, you know, now that shit make me really want to or whatever it's called, or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Or, or pressure, because you a, you a grown man. I can't, you, you a grown ass man, there's no way possible. Like, you know, for real. Her wasn't even doing nothing. Her wasn't doing nothing to that man, like, you know? Like, it just, it is what it is. That's how them folks play. Like, it's cool for them to get on there and say slick shit to niggas all day and do what they do, like, you know what I'm saying? Or call it for an interview, and you don't know what kind of day they have them come do an interview, and you will say some whole wig off the wall shit. It's like, come on, bro, don't do that. Like, don't DM me. Grown men, don't DM me. I'm not talking to, like, y'all stop DMing me. There's nothing for us to talk about. We ain't doing no music. Don't hit me. I don't have conversations with people. It's nobody. Like, that's just me. I'm not on, I don't even get on this. I, don't, I, I just put this Instagram back on my phone just to say this to Like, leave me the fuck alone. Like, period, point blank, and all. Leave me alone about, I don't want to hear about no bitches. What bitches doing what? What doing what? I don't give a fuck. Because whatever y'all think it is, it's never that. You know what I'm saying? It's never, ever, 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 what y'all think it is. I swear to God. Like, you know what I'm saying? Ever, ever. And I fuck with Marco. Marco, he mad about his watch. Marco, I got a watch right now. You can come get it. I got a new watch for you, bro. Hey, stop. Hit me. Call me, bro. I got something for you right now. And it's real. Because that shit I threw wasn't real. That watch was fake. It wasn't a real watch. That shit was fake as So... Keep it real, it was a real fake watch, not a play play fake watch. Like, really, really fake. Like, you know what I'm saying? But I, like, I, it's nothing. I'll give you a new watch. I'll give you a, a real new watch if you want one. It's nothing. It's no problem. My kids wear them shits like they ain't nothing. And my kids, four and five years old, they watch this cost more than that. Well, for somebody who don't care, he talked for a good two minutes. Like, if you don't care, why did you rant for like a good two minutes? He don't be on social media. I will give him that. He does not come on social media, but, sir. You, yeah, you get the tiny violin treatment. You were saying too much for somebody who don't give a fuck, okay? So I just thought the whole thing was childish. Um, there has to be a respect factor, and I hate the fact, like, you know, and I don't watch Funny Marco like that, so I don't know if he maybe he trolls people a lot or he's mean during his interviews. I don't know. But I do notice that sometimes when we go on platforms and it's a black face, a black interviewer, there's, like, a lack of respect. You know, one, time not being on time, um, you know, just all this extra aggression and anger. And it's like, you know, damn well, if y'all was sitting in front of, you know, Adam 22 or Vlad, whatever, the energy would be different. 
And I just, I just hate the fact that they were treating him like that and just going in on him. So now T.I. is speaking about this situation. So we're going to go ahead and listen to what T.I. got to say. So give me just a second to pull this up here. Because y'all know uh, his son, uh, what's his name? Little boy. King. He was on there not too long ago. And Funny Marco uh, made a meme of him. And people were clowning about that. So we're going to go ahead and watch this interview really quick here. All right. So this is T.I. talking about it. G. Harbo got lit on Funny Marco's show. Check this out. For what? Everything ain't for everybody. It's not. Mm -hmm. You got to know your audience. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? If I'm inviting somebody to a place and I haven't done proper research on the character or the personality type of the people that I've invited, I got to be prepared for everything. You know what I mean? Yeah. But the way he been acting on like Instagram, like he really been like a funny dude, cool dude. I text him, I asked him like, I'm like, what up, bro? You good? Mm -hmm. He said, yeah, I'm good. Yeah, I don't, I don't think he phased by, but you know. He gets, he, he gets his clout. I don't think he phased by. He getting them coins too. Remember he was on a show and he was talking about like he has done interviews that with people weird. and it didn't, you know. Go He's just saying that he was non-confrontational. He has a very confrontational approach. Yeah, you think so? so? Okay, so the. The, the actual talk show is a little bit different. Mm -hmm. How he started, because Deja and King almost oh, yeah. got on him one time. What you did was rude and everything. See, what you did, what you did. <laughs> you know, taking people outside the element, you never know what kind of day people are having. You never that know what you're going true. through. You never know what's going on now. Yeah. So you got to take what the universe give you when you put yourself in them types of environments. All right, y'all. Y'all <laughs> Y'all just heard what T.I. had to say. So let me come back on the screen here. So yeah, the whole situation, you know, is a mess. But I think that from what I was seeing earlier, because I didn't watch the whole interview, it seemed like when it was just Marco and Southside, it seemed like the energy was cool. But once, you know, G Bozo came out there, like the whole energy just like straight up shifted. So I don't know if like Southside kind of was feeding off of, you know, G Herbo and was kind of feeding off of his energy and was playing into it. Cause he seemed real chill at first and then like everything just kind of flipped. But either way, they're all getting attention off of this. You know, Funny Marco's getting attention off of it. It's viral, you know, they were trending. So, you know, they'll be fine. They'll definitely be fine. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely tea TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely tea TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.